Hey guys, Thad. Grayson. Here for Iowa Budget RC. And we got a, another present from the uh, RC Elf. And if you don't know who the RC Elf is by now, you really should. Uh, but he's such a great selfless person. All he cares about is bringing love to the RC community and bringing us all together and he has done that so well and uh, it's so awesome we have I've made so many good friends out here that I've never even met uh, through the RC community and I feel that some of them are possibly better friends than people that we actually know in person and in real life that uh, that we call our friends uh, uh, because you know the RC community is just awesome they help each other out we cheer each other on it's not about subscribers it's just about the love of the hobby um, and the RC elf has brought a lot of this together so thank you RC elf for that uh, thank you for bringing together a good family and thank you for the awesome gifts that you give each and every channel uh, that being said this is something that I've wanted since I was 10 years old and the first time I ever saw one was at Tony's Hobby and Key in East Moline, Illinois. It was a little hobby shop right across the street from uh, where my brother worked and uh, uh, I believe it was 19, uh, well it would have been 10 so it would have been 1989 and uh, it was the year that I got my QD pumpkin and this was the first time that dad and I had went into a uh, hobby shop together. And so, long story short, uh, I've drooled over these ever since then. Even when I was out of the hobby, I still always wanted one. Got a couple friends that have them, and I always tried talking them into selling them, and never could get them to sell them. And since we've gotten back into the hobby, I've trolled eBay almost daily, trying to find the right one that I could afford. And, uh, these things they go for decent money and they they always do even in even in really crappy condition And it, there's a reason why and They're just they're just super cool and I know Grayson has wanted one at least since we went to Horizon fest how long did you want one before that or did... I think I saw one at Horizon fest Well that kid was driving the J concepts ones with the the uh, uh, the carbon chassis and everything which basically is just quad buster axles that they use in aftermarket all aftermarket but they're awesome and uh, you know these came out in 1987 so you can probably guess what it is judging by that but uh, anyway without further ado let's let's pull it out Grayson pull this box out here looks like it's upside down there you go you can get your fingers in there further ado, we've finally got a quad buster. This is... Not only just a quad buster, but a super quad buster. Well, that's the, all the quad busters now are called super quad busters. But <laughs> this is so awesome, RC Elf. Uh, you've, you've made my day, my week, my month. Grayson's too. Uh, Grayson was worried about, well, this was just addressed to you, Dad. Well, I know you had told me in the in the email this is for both of us and it really is and i want to get you involved in doing the builds we have to do double gear boxes so i can build one and you can build one and you'll learn how to do that and uh it'll just be fun to do um but man i i cannot wait um this this thing is so cool just the sheer size of the box is just amazing the box yeah, the box art is really, really cool. And there's, uh, you know, it shows on the on the sides and stuff. It shows the the chassis and all that. And I put a little peek on our Facebook page. Uh, just kind of took a picture of the side of the box and and get, uh, zoomed in right here. And it was kind of blurry. And it was trying to hint as to what maybe uh, we were getting. But uh, let's let's pull the plastic and uh, check this out. And I want to try and keep the plastic on the box for right now if I can. I don't know. 
because certain boxes I'll keep, certain boxes I just cut the box art off the box and hang on the wall or whatever, yeah, like with the red cat and stuff, and uh, I don't know if you... We're definitely keeping this box. This box is cool. This is going to go up on the shelf as it is. Um, and I'm not going to do a real unboxing, but I do want to just open this thing up so Grayson and I can see the insides of the kit because I've never truly actually seen a kit uh, inside the box. So uh, just saying there's a sneak peek over here of another future project. Uh, if you look to my left, your right. Wow. Look at the tires are as big as your head. <laughs> do they smell good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. They smell like good gear. So cool. I got it. Which is good. <laughs> and one thing I might actually try and find for this is uh, the, uh, the, the grills that come on these now are... Uh, they say 4x4x4 four by four by four on the front of them, and the originals had a Chevy bow tie. And there's guys out there that 3D print them. They're not very cheap, so I don't know if I can justify spending the money, but you know, I like scale uh, scale things, and uh, we've actually, we're not gonna decorate this up as a clod buster. Uh, no, it's going, it's going to be uh, a, one of the vintage monster trucks that I really liked as a kid, and uh, you'll find out when uh, when we get the decal kit. And uh, but. I think this is I don't know if you guys can see, you probably all know it says 4x4x4 four by four by four on the grill and then the tailgate doesn't say Chevrolet. They actually make uh, aluminum or a 3D printed uh, insert uh, that, that goes on the tailgates now. But uh, what, did it, what else did it come with? It came with the uh, uh, ESC with the Tamiya plug on it already. I'm not sure what ESC this is. Uh, it's the THW880 dual ready to run ESC. So this is the Tamiya ESC. Um, so the monster truck that we're going to be doing is Excalibur. And Excalibur is, uh, was the first monster truck frame that was designed from CAD. I hate it. Uh, computer aided drafting. And to my knowledge, what I've heard from other people is that this truck, the way they designed the uh, the look of the frame and the suspension and stuff, was supposed to sort of look like uh, that truck. So kind of like the Blackfoot was uh, supposed to look like uh, Awesome Kong and uh, the lunch and awesome. and the lunchbox, uh, Rolling Thunder, etc. So anyway, but uh, look at the size of the wheels, buddy. They're like double the width of a regular Tamiya wheel. Um, so cool. Again, thank you so much, These RCL. Tires, like stacked up, they're up to here, to right here. <laughs> From your legs to your chin. <laughs> Thanks again, RCL, for not only gifting us, giving me my lifelong dream of a of a tamaya monster truck rc that is for sure uh but for bringing us all together and uh creating such a good family of people here on uh, on youtube uh you're 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 a very generous very selfless very great person and we all love you and we appreciate you so thank you my friend thank you to all of our subscribers we're almost up to 460 now uh, I believe we're at 455, 456, something like that, as of making this video. And uh, when we get to 500, I'm going to do a giveaway. And.
and I know what I'm going to give away now, um, keeping it secret, but uh, when we hit that 500 mark, we will, we will do a giveaway, and it's going to be as simple as uh, give it a week, you guys want to enter, you send me an email kind of thing saying I want to enter, and then we'll, uh, I'll write down however many numbers of people there are what, and what their name is beside it. We'll uh, pick a random uh, number generator on, uh, on Google or whatever and uh, enter what we want and that's how it'll be chosen. And uh, uh, it'll be free to anybody that's in the continental U.S. or uh, uh, Canada or Alaska. Um, can't do Hawaii, can't do foreign lands uh, uh, in Europe and whatever, I'd love to, but it's just, it'd be too expensive to ship. Uh, but we might be able to work something out for that. So uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Thad. I'm Grayson. That was Eddie the Cat and Buddies around here somewhere for Iowa Budget RC. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And again, thank you, RCL.